Hello there, my friends. First, I want to apologize for the interruption that happens in the live stream today. And uh, I'm sorry for that. Something happened technically and I couldn't just uh, get things going on. So I'm recording the episode here on a record video for you. And uh, here we go. Three things to do immediately when you start a business. This is a hot topic. I was really excited about it. I wanted to bring you this topic as a live experience. But anyway, what happened happened. So uh, before getting to the topic, I want you to do one thing. If you want to learn more about marketing and how to create more effective marketing strategies for your business, go to learn11.com. In there, there is a video presentation you're going to love. I promise. Uh, okay. So, uh, we know like starting a business isn't, uh, isn't something straightforward okay for a lot of people because chances it's a new experience or it's a new thing for most of us and uh, it might be overwhelming or it is overwhelming but not might be it is overwhelming because too much things to do too little time to execute on the things that you want to do what to start with the branding the website uh, the, uh, the the printing stuff like business card, logo, b b uh, brochures, flyers, profiles, writing the content for the website, uh, uh, getting uh, leads, clients, what to do, where to start. And uh, I don't blame you if you are confused or if you are doing stuff not the right way or if your work isn't like quite organized because it's normal, right? But let me ask you this question. What is the most important thing for your business to thrive, to become a successful business? If you said sales, then you are right. If you said getting customers, then you are correct. That's true. It is sales. It is getting customers. Because at the end of the day, why did you start the business anyway? Yeah, you started the business to solve a problem. Well, that's great. Uh, or you started the business to uh, like free yourself from the 9 to 5 and be entrepreneur on your life. That's great. But how? Of course, getting money so that you can finance yourself and finance your life and support the ones that you care about. So making money from the business is the goal. Let's just face it. Doesn't matter what other goals, vision, objectives we have, we still need to make money. Otherwise, the business is not going to succeed. So what are the three things that you need to immediately do? The moment you start the business number one is create your marketing message develop a marketing message and believe me this is one of the this is probably if you if if, if, if your business if you have a business already and you're not where you are right now it's probably because you don't have a clear marketing message so what is this clear marketing marketing message the clear market a, a marketing message is simply the way that you tell the world about your business, the way that you communicate your offers, your solutions, your products, your services with others, the way that you bought it to them. And this shouldn't be something neglected or done without focus or intention. And you, 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 need, to follow, uh, you need to follow a certain sequence in here to truly get an effective marketing message. I'll share with you some tips here on how to create an effective marketing message because here is the here's the deal all right it starts from here a marketing message starts with one question which is what is the transformation that you promise your customers with not the product not the service the transformation which is the act of being something different or achieving or experiencing a new thing once they buy from you okay that's what the customers buy. And believe it or not, customers don't buy products or services. They buy results. So answer this question. What is the result, the transformation that someone get when they buy from you? Let me give you here a scenario or example. If you are a photographer, you're not selling photos. You are selling something different, that you're something else that your customers want. Why would anyone hire a photographer? To Why? Not like because, hey, I want a photographer. There is a need for that, right? There is a transformation. There is something they want from the photos or from the videos. So what is the transformation? That's where you need to start. The second thing, uh, the second thing that you need to ask yourself here about when uh, crafting your marketing message, again, this is, a, this, is a, this is a heavy job. You need like to give it thoughts. It's not something like you come up with in a couple of hours. 
may take you one week from your time to come up with a powerful marketing message. So you need to give it thought. But here I'm just helping you brainstorm ideas. So the second thing you need to ask yourself to create effective marketing message is this. What is the current status for my customers? Where they are right now? You answered where they want to be, where they want to go. What is the transformation that they want to have? Now, where they are right now? You need to define the starting, in other words, you need to define the starting point and the end point of your customers. Like, write it clearly, okay? Write down even the, the, the stuff that you might think it's silly, like what they are doing right now, where they are right now. Maybe yeah, they're driving a car, if that's where the customer is right now. Or, hey, they are just laying in the bed. Or, hey, it's midnight and my customers now is can't sleep. That's if you sell uh, stuff that helps people sleep, right? So write down where they are right now, what they are doing right now, all the information, everything. It's like brainstorming, No, right, nothing wrong or right here. Just write down everything that represents their current status, their, their starting point, their, their current situation. And write down the, the, the transformation. Make sure the transformation represents what is going to happen when they buy your thing. Okay, and here, think of an ideal customer, someone who is going to do exactly or use your product or your service exactly as you intended, not someone who's dabbling. Okay, imagine that you are, all of your customers are perfect, that they're doing the things that you ask them to do or, or using the product or the, your service as exactly you want, the, you, you intentionally designed it to be. Okay, and write down what is going to happen to them once they do that buy your product or service or your thing. And in the middle, you need to define something we call, I like to call this the vehicle, all right? And the vehicle here, don't miss uh, connecting the, the dots here. The detail, the, the vehicle, which is that's going to take your customers from where they are to where they want to be. This vehicle is not your product. Please do not use this as your product because that's a common mistake that marketers do uh, when, when they write marketing messages. They say, okay, Let's say, for example, my customer right now is having an event and they are planning to for an event and they are f uh, like uh, a lot of stuff on their head. And one important thing they want to have is documenting this event, making sure it is documented and capture the great moments or capture. So they use this material in their marketing. If you are a photographer here, OK, just bring examples to help you brainstorm. That's where your customers right now. And now where they want to be, they want to be. They want to forget about this headache of uh, finding a photographer to document the event. They want to have photos that is uh, like smartly capturing the most important uh, moments in the events, uh, showing their brands, showing their, their events, helping them to show off even, okay, if that's what they want. So what is the vehicle that's going to take them from here to here? Don't tell me my mm -hmm. photography or uh, don't tell me this photography package. Okay, it's photos. Okay, just that's it. This is the vehicle, photos. So photos or videos is the vehicle that helps your customers go from here to here. Now that you know exactly the timeline of your customer's journey, where they are, where they want to be, what is the vehicle that's gonna connect them. There, here starts the good play and the good part of creating your marketing message. I don't want to expand more on this because I don't want to make this video boring. But again, if you want to know more about marketing, go to learn11.com and see the video presentation in there. I promise you're going to love it. So uh, the second thing you need to do, uh, let's, let's, let, let me give you another tip here on marketing message. You need to define the, 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 object, the objections that your customers might have about uh, photography, which is the vehicle. You need, let's rephrase it. You need to define the objections that your customers might have about the vehicle, not your product, a vehicle. So the vehicle here is photography, all right? Documenting the event with photos. This is the vehicle. So you need to go and see what objections your customers maybe have about photography. They will say, okay, well, it's not important to have photography for my event or uh, it doesn't matter what type of photography I have to my event. It's just like we can capture this with phones, right? We don't need a photographer here. Got the point? This might be an objection about the vehicle, not about the product. We're still not into the product objections. There is two types of objections, vehicle objections and products objections. So once you identify all the possible objections, 
about the product, uh, about the vehicle, sorry. Now it's time to crush and bust these objections. You need to show them that, hey, you think about uh, this vehicle this way, and let me tell you, this is not the case because, and you tell them, and you tell them why it's not. So you need to bust the objections. Maybe they think like photography is, is, is expensive, right? This is an objection. So you tell them, no, it's not object, uh, uh, it's not expensive. And if you are looking into it from price wise, well, let me help you see it this way. Now, once you uh, uh, professionally capture the, the, the moments, the important moments in your event, these pictures will become asset, marketing assets for you. So this will save you time, save you money, and even make you money in the future because you'll have like assets that you can use in your marketing and so on, okay? So this is how to bust the vehicle objection. And you need, of course, to define the product's object, objection. You need to define the, uh, the most common mistakes that they do, and you wanna show them why these are mistakes in the way to the transformation. Remember, you need to keep the, the timeline of your customers all the way in your mind where they are, where they want to be, the vehicle that takes them in there, and you need to define the object, the objections about the vehicle, the objections about the product, the misconceptions about the vehicle, like one of the misconceptions uh, about photography for maybe, uh, that applies to your customers, that uh, let's just, anyone of the team can just capture a moment. Don't need like, truly need a photographer for this. That's a misconception, right? So you need to tell them, no, this is wrong, and this is why. Okay, and so on. So this is the first thing you need to do when you start your business. Please don't do anything else unless you have this clear on piece of paper, on uh, uh, sketches, on uh, voice notes, on uh, uh, typed in somewhere in your, in your hard drive. Doesn't matter. You need to have these stuff ready because your entire business will be based on these on this marketing message. Everything you say to your customers, everything you talk about your product, you say about your product, every marketing material you put out there should be purposely designed with based on this marketing message. This is your life, your business life blood. So you need to get it right. Nothing else matters if this is not done right. If your marketing message isn't done right, even if you have the greatest brand in the world, you're not gonna sell. Even if you have the best service, and you're not gonna sell. Because the marketing message is the way that you tell the world about what you've got. If it is like junky, funky stuff, it's not gonna work. Give it thoughts and do it yourself. Ask for help from copywriters or brainstorm or do surveys to ask your customers. But it's important to get this right. Otherwise, nothing else is gonna work if this is not done right, okay? I hope that makes sense to you. And uh, don't de-estimate it, please. Again, if you want more help with your marketing, go to learn11.com and see the video presentation. So this is the first thing you need to do when you start a business, develop a marketing message. What is the second thing you need to do right now? Well, it's obvious, is to go and define or find or develop a sales mechanism. The sales mechanism is is the way or the method in which you take this marketing message and put it in this sales mechanism so that you get customers. Let me give you an example. I'll keep uh, using the photographer example here just because we have started the, the video uh, with this example. So if you are a photographer and you wanna find a, a sales mechanism, this, there are plenty of sales mechanisms uh, that you can use to sell. And the point here is not, or the key, is not to use all of them because it's impossible. What you need to do here is to use one sales mechanism only, develop one sales mechanism only and keep doing it. So a sales mechanism here might be uh, doing a, a monthly meetup, for example. So every month you meet people who care about photography and you show them uh, or you share with them in, a, in an event or like two hours event or something or seminar or workshop, whatever the thing, how photographies can truly help them uh, achieve the transformation they want, right? Uh, and at the end of the meetup, you pitch them your offer. You tell them, hey, I have this offer, by the way, if you enjoyed this meetup, uh, I can help you even more. So this is my offer. You get one, two, three, four uh, for this amount of money. And here is how to get it. Okay, the offer, very simple. And the offer, again, the simplest way to put an offer is, uh, this is what I've got for you. This is what it will do for you. And this is how to get it. That's it, simple and straightforward. So that's a sales mechanism. Another sales mechanism, which is the most popular sales mechanism, which is the hustle kind of stuff. Like, hey, cold calling, get a list of all the customers 
uh, the potential customers who fit your criteria and give them phone calls. That's again, this is <laughs> this is uh, this this is the hustle. I don't like this, but I mean, there are a lot of people who still do it. And if you want to do it, it's okay. You can do it. If you want more smart way, of course, to do this, go to learn11.com, and in there, I'll share with you something interesting that again doesn't require much hustle like this one. So. If you have, uh, once, you, once you develop the sales mechanism, again, let me give you another example for sales mechanism. Uh, online, there is, a, there is a sales mechanism called webinar, webinar sales mechanism. So the webinar is kind of a, a video presentation that is hosted somewhere on, on the internet and people register their information and choose a schedule to see this webinar. So it's like a kind of live event but it's done video virtually. And instead of meeting people in person, uh, uh, sometimes maybe expensive or hard, uh, or not like much effective because people need to travel from place to place to go to the meetup or somewhere to meet you in person. So it's better that you make it online. This way you can simply uh, enjoy, uh, invite people from all around the marketplace or the demography that you're targeting, let's say Dubai. Uh, so you can just invite people from Dubai to join this webinar and in the webinar you do the same thing you help them uh, with content about your uh, transformation remember where they are where they want to be and what is the vehicle so you share with them content that helps them get closer to their transformation and at the end of the webinar pitch your offer tell them this is what I've got this is what we'll do for you and this is how to get it okay again if you want uh, help with your marketing this way Go to learn11.com and in there, there is a presentation. You know the story. See the presentation and decide what to do next. Okay, so now that you have a marketing message, you have a sales mechanism, and you know exactly what to say or what to, how to use the sales mechanism. Why? Because you know you have the marketing message. And the sales mechanism job here is just to use the content or the message from your marketing message. Like to go through, to answer all the objections, to show the and demonstrate the transformation, all that stuff, right? So what is the third step here for you to do? The third step is very simple and obvious. Just keep repeating the same thing. That's it. Just keep repeating the second step. Keep doing much of the sales mechanism. See what works for you. If it is a webinar, keep doing webinars. If it is a meetup, keep doing meetups. If it is cold calls and telesales, keep doing that. If it is email marketing, keep doing that. Whatever the sales mechanism that worked for you, of course, you need to test some sales mechanism, especially if you are new to this at all and you have no idea what you're doing. So chances like maybe you'll do some mistakes at the beginning, but if you get help, uh, of course, you will decrease the time, the, the error, uh, uh, the terror error, and of course, increase your chances of success. And that could be accomplished when you see the presentation in learn11.com. Uh, all right, so uh, to recap, get a marketing message, develop a marketing message, be precisely clear on whom you serve, what results or transformation you can get to them, what ob vehicle that can get them from A to B, what objections they have about this vehicle, how to bust these objections, what objections about uh, they have about the product, how to bust these objections, think about it thoroughly, like give it deep thought, because the sales mechanism is all about just using, keep using the marketing message all over, all over, all over, all over again. Okay, this is your business. I mean, you're not going to ch change what you say today, uh, uh, change it to after one year, like uh, in, in a nutshell and overall, uh, because it's still the same product, the same service, right? And you still serve the same people. So get it right. This is the point. Uh, and once you get it right, keep doing the same things that worked for you as a sales mechanism. Keep repeating the second step as much as possible. At the end of the day, this is what's gonna make you money. And I will call the last step is to keep doing and making money generating or money making activities. Money making activities. Yes, you need to get customers. It's important to get customers. Don't be shy to ask for sales. Don't be shy to ask people to buy from you and help them because when you do marketing this way, it's, uh, I mean, it's it's genuine. It's okay to ask for the order. Like you're helping your customers go from somewhere to somewhere and you're giving them free content, free help. And at the end, you ask them to buy from you. Like what I am to you right now. You are an entrepreneur. The place where you are right now is that it's uh, challenging for you to sell. Uh, you don't know how to do marketing like properly. 
and where you want to be, you want to be in where? In, in a position where uh, your sales is, 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 is working great, your marketing is done correctly, and you get customers uh, uh, easily, okay, without having to like truly hustle the old school way. The transformation that you believe, or let's say the, 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 uh, the, uh, the vehicle that you believe is gonna take you from A to B is online marketing. And damn, you're right, yes, but you need to get it right. That's why I invite you to lion11.com to see the presentation in there. And of course, there is an offer for you in there. I'm not shy to ask you to buy my thing because I believe my thing is important to you. It's gonna help you a lot. That's why I ask you to buy it. So if you enjoyed this video, I need you to do two things, please. Number one is to share it with your friends because you know, sharing is caring. And the stuff that you are learning here, probably a lot of people truly need to know and hear uh, because uh, it's, it's tough to go into business without proper marketing. The second thing that I want you to do is simply go to learn11.com and see the presentation in there. Thank you very much for watching this video. And again, I want to apologize for the uh, scheduled broadcast live that was supposed to go today. I couldn't do it for some technical problem, but I promise you I'll solve this and we'll get back to the live TV as usual. Thank you again and good day. Bye-bye.